Yo, what is up guys? It's Ryan. I'm back with Leo once again and today we have something a small little mini vlog for you. I just moved recently and pretty close by to where I live is this old abandoned music park called Lake Lazardville and there was also an Americana park which had a roller coaster at one point and if I remember correctly it closed in 2002 I believe yeah. if I read the history right but we're over here at that site and uh, we're gonna go check it out see what we can see all right so we just came in from that area and it looks like at least the front of it was turned into a public playground for children but they also like, have a play park like a nice like bench sitting area for people to walk through to all of their whatever and I'm a child of heart, so of course I have to go down the slide. Oh my gosh, there's little steps right here. Oh my, I have to do that too. Wee! Oh my gosh, it's mommy. <laughs> Should I go down? Yes. Should I go down? All yes. right, I'll go down next. All right, my butt cheeks haven't been down a slide in a long, 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 long time. Oh. <laughs> My turn! Woo! Oh. It's that last bump that gets you. It's like we love that ejector air time. It's like Magnum. Ejector air time. <laughs> We're so dumb. <laughs> We're dumb. Alright, this is pretty freaking cool. And it looks like you can walk right up to it. We're not going to touch it. But, look at this. The name is still on it. Oh. That is so cool. What in the heck? There's the electrical circuits for it. They took all that out so no one could play around with it. Wow. Oh yeah, it's on the second, it's on the other it's side. It's on the other side too. It looks like it used to light up, but then Oh, look here's at the another glass. switch for it. Look at the broken glass from the lights. You see the lights were on it. Wow. Now, this would have had to have gone that way. Yes. So I'm curious how far it went and if we can get to the other side. But we're going to keep looking around. So I think this is technically a construction road. Sorry, construction people. We're not going to go in there, but we walked all the way around and that's literally the only thing we see. There's no like any remnants of coaster stuff? No. I have a map, which I'll have Ryan see if he can plug it into the YouTube video but i have a map of what it looked like in 2018 they apparently if i did my research correctly because i was doing it as we walked it was a 10 million dollar redevelop so basically they tore all the buildings and down and all the concrete platforms they pulled those up and made a park but what i don't understand is they kept the original sky ride building and then they kept the original shelter houses so why didn't they just keep all the original buildings and redevelop it like that. And even like in the picture, it even had like a huge entrance building, like kind of how Kings Island is. But coming back here, looking at the map, there was stuff back here, but there's no like ride building, coaster remnants, except that yellow thing. But I don't even know if that's even part of Sky Ride or anything else. But we're gonna keep doing our research and we'll plug in all our info on the video. Because yep. it's kind of interesting. It's cool. It's so cool. All right, so we're checking out these old abandoned picnic shelters. You got wires stripped everywhere. And it looks like these are like street lights or some sort of supports of some sort. They look like lights. Laying down in here. You can tell it's abandoned. It's... Look how old the buildings are. Look how rusted and the paint is like chipping off of that. Oh, that makes total sense. We're going to have this one with all the stack tables, but this one's going to be empty. We're going to have one picnic table sitting in this one. They clearly didn't get the memo that Vaiden died in 2016. I would be banking on the fact that this is where the music came from. University Sound. Look how old they are. Wow. We've come a long way. One lone picnic table. Oh, dang, look. I wonder oh if... Oh my gosh, look at that bin. There's structural damage here. I just noticed this. Yikes, I think that's why they moved the picnic tables over there, although it wouldn't have made a difference. I don't know if someone like freaking ran into it with a truck or something. That's some major damage. Or I wonder if 
it was like a windstorm of some sort. Maybe when that tornado came through in 2019. Oh yeah. I bet. I bet Look, all these are cooking. That has to be the cause, because wind damage. If it's really, really high winds, it can like bend and break down like metal. I normally do face-in vlogs, but I want you guys to see all this. That goes like crazy. Also, hi. And here's some old bleachers that are surprisingly in decent standing. That looks like the bleachers at my school. I wonder if they had like a show right here or something. Or if they moved them, I don't know. Oh, look, there's a bunch if of If anyone from Medina is watching this video, you'll understand my reference with the bleachers. You got all these pieces of wood laying down over Maybe here. I haven't checked this one out yet. Old pipe. Busted. That one slipped upside down for whatever reason. Looks like someone tried to do it like a little ritual circle wood pile here. Oh, look at this old hornet's nest. Oh. That's kind of cool. This used to be concrete of some sort. We're trying to figure out what it used to be, though. I think it was the zipper. Maybe, or the I Ferris wheel. I have a picture of the zipper. We think those might be old red spots, too. Yeah, because see how the grass is not grown in properly? That's where concrete used to be. Also, also we did a Google search. Turns out one of the roller coasters was literally right here, and the other one ran all across the lake, and it was actually a pretty good-sized coaster. Yeah, a little well, bit bigger than Racer. They call it a lake, but it's actually a river. It's but actually a river. Whatever. So there's the railroad right by the old entrance. Well, new old entrance. Used to look a lot different. Uh, well, so for all your rail fans, that's an actual railroad. I don't think that's affiliated with the park. No. And uh, I wonder if my friend Sean Flaherty has some archive footage of this. Yeah, because, because people... I would bet he does. And I think it would be really cool to throw that in here. And also people filmed in the early 2000s and like the footage that they showed on the news when they did like a coverage of the abandoned park and redeveloping it, they showed like images and footage of like the early 2000s. So there's gotta be footage out there that we don't know about yet. All right, so on our behalf, that's about all we could check out. There's nothing else to see here. Nothing else. But. I am going to, like I said, I'm going to go see if Sean has any archive footage. So it may be the end of the video. It may not be. All right, guys. So I'm on YouTube here and it turns out Sean Flaherty did have some footage. Actually, not so much of the park, but he has a roller coaster POV of what I learned to be just now Screaming Eagle, which is that big roller coaster I referenced in the back of the park. So let's just watch this POV and then I'll just give my reaction to it. So here we go. <laughs> We're gonna have some serious air time. I hope I don't lose my camera on the air time. Turn that down so you guys can hear me. We're on the thin shuffle. See, Chris, look at, Chris, look at the anti rollbacks or wood. Half of the wood's gone, man. Look, big chunks of wood. All right, so I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to follow this with my mouth. See that little dirt, like that road we took on foot? That's where we walked. So I was thinking it was to the left of me. It was actually on the inside. We were walking literally where the coaster was, which is absolutely insane to think about. But here we go. Let's check out the rest of this. Looks like you get a good pop of airtime there. Yeah, wow, we just walked throughout the entire layout. Oh my gosh, that actually looked like a lot of fun. All right, right here. Remember that dip we were talking about? Like, that's the whole back half of the whole part. So there's, I'm pointing with my finger like an idiot. So here's that pool area I was talking about, and there's that big dip in the field. We walked all the way around here. So like right here would have been that random yellow thing that we thought was maybe attached to the sky ride. And then here's the return trip. There's the railroad along the trees. Here's the shelter buildings right there. So we walked all around this. It's crazy to think about.
That looks like an airtime machine. That looked like it had to have been so much fun. They even had a go to her track underneath. Can we see the sky ride? Okay, so you can't see the sky ride, but it would have been over here in this area way to the left. And that's where the front of the park too, and the playground is now. So, at least that's some footage I could find for you guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm like messing up my words here. It's early in the morning, and I really don't have a script. I'm just kind of going off my brain here. But, yeah. Thank you, Sean, for that footage, and I guess that's going to wrap up this video. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Keep God number one, and we'll catch you guys next time here at Christian, Christian Coasters, Coasters, where we make epic, epic coaster, coaster vlogs and videos. And videos. Peace! Peace.